welcome to another video of Scuba Travel and Adventure Channel. Another accessory review uh, that I recently inquired or purchased. So this is it. Uh, this is SW Motec Pro City tank bag extendable 11 to 14 liters. Uh, why I chose this one? I had previously, as most of you saw on my videos, I had Moscomoto Nomad. A great little bag. The only problem for me, it, it didn't have enough room for all my junk that I carry, especially what I'm trying to do now. Uh, I'm gonna try filming myself with the drone and that's quickly where I can store my remote control. Just drop it inside here and uh, I hope that's gonna be doable. I'm gonna try that probably today as long as I don't get caught in some kind of a thunderstorm as it's uh, forecasted. So anyway, so let's go over this thing quickly. As um, and probably not many of you know, or some of you know, uh, SW Motec uh, makes the tank bags uh, very similar to the GV product with the uh, magnetic tank lock. Uh, but uh, GV doesn't make the magnetic, uh, it's a little bit different design. So anyways, um, it's pretty simple to install, I'm not gonna go over this. So basically you just gotta get the proper flange that's uh, for your motorcycle. I will bring the camera closer just so you can see that. You have to get a proper flange that mounts uh, to the specific uh, motorcycle type. Obviously if you are Africa twin owner, uh, or it's gonna be for your uh, Honda mounting. It just screws in with uh, like one, two, three, four screws. And then the top part, it's got a kind of weird setup uh, that screws in with uh, one, two, three, four, uh, another four uh, nuts that goes on top of it and they're sticking out of the main uh, flange. There we go. I hope you're gonna be able to see that. So right here, there is a adjustable sliding plate that uh, has magnet, four magnets on the side, and uh, that just clips on there uh, very, very quickly. And uh, basically just drop it on there and you're done. It's sitting, it's not going anywhere. I, I was off-road with it and uh, even now, and uh, it's holding very well. But since I'm showing you the bag uh, right now, what we will do, we'll go over the compartments and stuff like that so you have an idea what's going on here. All right, so just looking here from the top, um, as I mentioned earlier in this video, it's uh, 11 liters when it's not expanded and it expands to 14 liters. Basically, just a zipper all around it. Undo the zipper. And that gives you one, two, that's almost uh, almost three inches additional space when you pull it up. I don't think I'm gonna use that, but you have it. So it's, uh, it's available. So we're gonna zip it back up and I'll show you inside what's going on here, what kind of a pockets, what kind of storage. So first of all, you have a big mesh pocket right on a lid, you can store like documents or small stuff. And then inside, there's two mesh pockets on the side, right there. And that thing goes pretty much right to the nose. It slopes down. And what I like about this tank bag, that it's not flimsy. Like a lot of other tank bags, they're pretty flimsy. And uh, this one here, it holds, it holds its shapes very well. So basically when you zip up the top part, and what's nice about the top part that uh, it is made out of a sort of a harder plastic. And on top you have a moldy webbing which is uh, a very similar design as um, Moscomoto uh, Nomad packs have. The only benefit of the Moscow uh, that I saw was that you can carry this as a backpack. This one here, unfortunately you cannot, but all it has is just the grab handle right here on top. And that's pretty much it. So I should show you basically, this is your pull strip and that releases the the lock on the bag, the magnets. And you can do that either from the inside or from the outside. I prefer from the outside, it's much easier to grab it right there. Uh, I don't usually leave it when I, so the motorcycle is unattended. And, but here inside, you have that same pull string, so you can uh, re release it right from here. I hope you can see that well enough. Uh, so there's a pocket, I got my GoPro batteries here and spare, the spare double A's, sunglasses, my bike alarm, uh, my, my uh, microfiber cloth to clean my helmet. And then you have a two pretty large pockets on both sides. So I'll crack this pocket open. So here, like I have my glass cleaner or visor cleaner, um, mosquito uh, repellent, 
uh, Tylenol, just in case with too much drinking, you get a headache, a pen, Tic Tacs and stuff like that. And then the other side, you can to put whatever, I'm not gonna go over my stuff, what I carry, but uh, anyways, this is it. And wh what I liked about it, that uh, it has enough room here that I can put the drone remote control with the phone. So what I didn't like about the, my Moscow Moto tank bag, and that I... uh, whenever it was extremely hot, the water inside the hydration pack was getting really warm and uh, I did not like that, especially not today so much because today the sun is uh, behind the smoke. There's a huge fires happening in Canada right now on British Columbia out west there and the smoke is blowing here to Alberta. Um, we are very close to the southern border too, so probably some stuff is burning, I'm guessing in Montana as well, just across the border. But um, the water inside the tank bag, since it was really thin, it was getting warm. You had a heat from the engine and then the sun was pounding on top of it and uh, the water was warming up very quickly and you took a sip and it's like, Egh, yuck. So I figure I'll go with my uh, bottles and uh, insulated bottles that hold the water cold for eight, nine hours uh, with a couple ice cubes in there and uh, no matter the temperature, the water stays warm. Huge advantage uh, of having those bags. Maybe I don't have as much water, but uh, normally on a longer ride, I will not carry my soft panniers. I will have my hard cases where I have the big jerry can full of water, three liters. So that's most of the time it's enough for a whole day. So let's wrap up this video. We don't wanna make it super long. I'm not getting paid by the company. I'm just doing on the reviews on my own. That's why I'm not shooting the prices. Uh, you can go to your local dealer, shop online, whichever you prefer. In my case, uh, I bought it at, at my local um, Rocky Mountain uh, Honda in Calgary, but right now it's called Jack Carter Power Sports, I think if I'm correct. Uh, they just changed the name uh, last year, so I still don't remember. It's, to me, it's still Rocky Honda. Uh, anyway, so I bought it from them, but uh, you can get them pretty much anywhere and shop around. So, of course, to get your best deal on it. And I'm still waiting for a map cover. Um, as much as you think I have a GPS, I have Google Maps. I love to use maps uh, in front of me, especially like today. I had to stop a couple of times, zoom it in, zoom it out, and uh, it takes so much time. And uh, with the map, you see exactly where you're going. That's a huge benefit of having a map uh, or in a map pocket on top of it. And it's a moly webbing, very easy to mount, just slide it through, clip it on, and that's it. It's still on the way. Uh, it was back order, so I couldn't get it right away. Uh, it's already back order for a month. So anyways, uh, like that video, comment down below. Uh, share it around if you know a buddy that's looking for those products. Check out my other videos. I have two different videos about the tools that you need for Africa Twin, about the accessories. So uh, there's a lot of toys that I put on that bike over the time that I purchased for the new riders. Uh, might be something, uh, you might find something that you like and uh, go for it. So anyways, see you in the next video. Take care and I gotta continue riding here.